What's up guys, scotty 2 Hockey here, aka the Irish Hockey Fan. Sorry I haven't put any content out the past few days. I'm just getting over a very rough flu, but there's been a good juicy rumor going around the NHL that makes, makes a lot of Habs fans excited, and I completely understand why. P.K. Subban rumored to being traded out of Nashville, and a lot of Habs fans want to see him back in Montreal. Now, as for me myself, I loved P.K.'s time in Montreal. He was a good representative of the team. He had a solid seven years while he was there. He was a high-energy player. He was a fan favorite. He was a favorite in the media. He donated a pile of money to the Children's Hospital. The city loved him. And I absolutely respect everything he's done as a Hab. And clearly, he loved playing for Montreal because when he came back with Nashville to play against Montreal for the first time, his emotional response shows how much he really cared playing as a Hab. He was a heart and soul player, but he had issues with management. He had issues with players in the locker room, and I don't think that he's the type of player the Habs need to bring in right now. It has nothing to do with his attitude or do I think he can get over his issues with Brendan Gallagher or Mark Bergevin or anything like that. It's more so if you bring him in, you would either have to demote Jeff Petrie to the third line or you would have to trade Jeff Petrie. P.K. Subban does not fit a need we need. We have two solid top right-handed defensemen. If he were to be brought in, he would be a top four right-handed defenseman. We're weak on the left side. What P.K. Subban would bring, he would bring power play help. He would bring well-added speed, experience, and just high energy. But I don't think for a $9 million cap hit, it's something we need to go after right now. Now, as for P.K. Subban, his cap hit is $9 million, but it's only signed up till 2021, 2022. So it's not going to be long-term or anything like that. Love P.K. Subban, but myself personally, I don't think he's what the Habs need right now. But I completely, 100% understand fans who want him brought over. And if Mark Bergevin were to go back and go out and try and get him again, I would not be mad about it by no means. If they traded Petrie, I would probably be a bit upset. But I would not be mad about having a high-end offensive defenseman on our team like P.K. Subban. But he's not going to fit what you need on that left side. And he doesn't bring the most solid defense in the world. He is solid defensively, but he's not the most solid defensive defender. And they kind of need someone solid defensively. Um, as for P.K. Subban, in seven years in Montreal, in 434 games played, he had excellent totals. He had 63 goals, 215 assists, 278 points. He was a plus 35. He had 35 power play goals, 92 power play assists. 127 power play points, so that's definitely something Montreal could have used. He played with a physical edge with 601 hits, and he played 24 minutes and 34 seconds per game, so he was without a doubt a workhorse on the blue line. In 2018-2019, despite being injured for 19 games for the Nashville Predators, in 63 games played, he had 9 goals, 22 assists, 31 points, was a plus 5, he had 2 power play goals, 8 power play assists, 10 power play points, 56 hits, 22 minutes, and 40 seconds per game. And he's had some pretty a pretty good time in Nashville being to a cup final and nominated for a Norris. And Nashville's pretty pretty good team since he's been there. Um, his position is right-handed D. He's 6 feet tall. He's 210 pounds. He's just entering his prime at 29 years old. In the playoffs between Nashville and Montreal, he has 96 games played, 18 goals, 44 assists, 62 points. He's a plus one, 168 hits. So he has some pretty good playoff totals as well. Now, as for P.K. Subban, I had written down, P.K. was a fan favorite in Montreal for his high-energy play and elite offensive ability. He was traded for Shea Weber in 2016, and it's said to be due to issues in the locker room with fellow players and issue with management. But since the trade, he hasn't missed a beat. He's been to a cup final and has been a Norris nominee, all while representing the Predators. At the peak of his prime, only 29 years old, he's one of the league's top offensive defensemen. He has amazing speed, puck handling ability, and excellent shot. He hits hard and is amazing on the point on the power play. He brings experience, almost guaranteed offensive production. He immediately boosts your special teams. And despite being a pretty quality defender, his poor decision making causes him to make defensive mistakes. He's always been a high risk, high reward player who plays with an edge. So like I said, as for P.K. Subban, me, myself, I don't 100% see him as the fit Montreal needs, but he is a very high offensive defenseman, and he does play pretty solid defensively. He just makes some defensive blunders that when he does make them, they really stick out. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Would you like to see P.K. Subban come back to Montreal? Um, feel free to like, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for my upcoming videos, and comment on what you think. He's kind of like Jake Gardner, just a massive upgrade on Jake Gardner, but he plays on the right side, so I don't see him as a good fit. So let the average hockey fan know what you think. Sorry I haven't had content out, guys. I've been really sick the past few days, but I'm getting over it for sure. Scotty2Hockey, a.k.a. the average hockey fan, over and out. Enjoy your day, folks. Woo!